watching NBC4, the Tri-State News Channel. And now, Chuck Scarborough, Michelle Marsh, Janice Huff, and Len Berman. This is News Channel 4 at 6. All right, Janice. Bilingual education, teaching kids in their native language. It's a hot topic these days. Opponents say it's not working and claim children will be better off being immersed in English. There was a stormy hearing at City Hall today. Education reporter Carol Ann Riddell was there. Bilingual education is a stepping stone when it functions the way it should. But when it doesn't, it becomes a prison that condemns children. A prison, critics argue, because too many children who don't speak English are trapped in bilingual classes for years on end. Bilingual education is intended to be a transition period during which children are taught in their native language. But at a packed City Hall hearing today, even Board of Ed officials testified that is not always the case. Only about half of students leave bilingual programs in three years. Students are exiting in four, five, and six years. Um, there is a, a core of students, however, who have been in the programs for eight and nine years. And uh, it's those students that we're concerned about. So what's the answer? Some say an English immersion program, teaching kids in English, should be an option for families. Randy Mastro heads Mayor Giuliani's task force on bilingual education. He says the idea is not to do away with bilingual classes, but to give parents another alternative. We all care about the same thing, helping our kids perform better, helping improve their educations. One of the ways that we can do that is to give parents more information and give them more choices. Bilingual education doesn't work. English immersion does work. Some of the most controversial testimony came from Ron Unz. He spearheaded the effort to dismantle bilingual education in California. Opponents say English only is not the solution. You know, when it comes to this problem with bilingual ed, the solution should be exactly what we propose for every other area where things aren't working. Make the programs work. The task force hopes to issue an initial report and recommendations by the end of this month. The ultimate goal? Getting changes in place by the start of the next school year. At City Hall, Carol Ann Riddell, News Channel 4.